In tonight's Eyewitness News Health Watch, color correction. Health Watch reporter Kelly Lynn says a local doctor is helping colorblind patients see clearly. Color blindness is much more common among men. It affects one in every 12 males in this country and fewer than one in 200 females. Now a Maryland doctor has found a way to open up a whole new world for these patients. The term colorblind is often misused. The more common condition is known as color vision deficiency. A true colorblind patient sees grays, black and white and grays. That's a very rare condition, as I said, and uh, we're concerned more about the patients who are color confused between reds and greens, which is the most common form. While colorblind individuals may have problems coordinating their wardrobes, the condition has even more serious consequences, like for those who need to be able to see colors in order to make a living. For those patients, Dr. Thomas Asman created the color correction system. My lenses work by changing the spectral composition of the cones in the back of the eye to enhance the color discrimination of what people see. So people see colors in a more brighter form, and they see colors in more natural form. The system's corrective filters change the wavelength of each color going into one or both eyes, which enhances color perception and discrimination. The filters can be designed for patients in glasses and contact lenses, which may be a better choice for children. The kids will be uh, touted by their other friends by wearing these funny looking glasses. So kids will actually do better in contact lenses. John is trying to go into law enforcement, but was disqualified because he's color confused. Now that he has the new lenses, he can't believe his eyes. I kept second guessing myself and what I'm seeing is real. Patients come from all over the globe to have their world opened up to things they've never been able to see. Back to you. Thanks, Kelly. Now, there's no cure for color blindness, and the condition is usually inherited.